This is a 1975 edition of the Gun Digest. Now it's got oodles and gobs of illustrations and pictures, and here's some of the contents. It says Pope rifle barrels, wild sheep of North America. Here's quarter arms bulldog, a 44 special shotgunning with Browning. Here's Japanese auto loading pistols, Rugers, Sig Sauer, Springfield, gun engravers, deer stoppers for the 16 gauge, Chuck Hunter Ducks Unlimited, here's Remington and Winchester, there's gun proof in Germany, orderly engravers, smokeless loads, hand loading, Hmm. Scopes and mounts, there's 22 Hornet. Handguns, shooting at a thousand yards, custom guns. Why does Buffalo disappear? Anyway, it's got oodles and gobs of pictures, illustrations. Pictures and illustrations. There's pistols. There's looks like shotguns. There's rifles. There's Brownings. There's grouse. Got poodles and gobs. There's holsters. There's some more engraving. Looks like. There's plenty of pistols, rifles, revolvers, automatics. There's more rifles and scopes. Rifles and scopes, shotguns. Goodness me, here's plenty of guns over toward the back. Listings of them. List after list after list. Rifles, there's pistols. Anyway, here's the back cover. Also, it looks just about like the front cover. But now this, someone has written the name on the edge edge of the pages, Lou Ennox. Doesn't hurt the book any. But anyway, there's I say the little and got the pictures in it. There's twenty two Hornet. Twenty two Hornet. There's rifle bullets. All kinds of rifles, shotguns, automatic pistols. There's nineteen oh three Springfield. See if you can see that in the picture. 1903 Springfield. There's some automatic pistols. Anyway, let's see how many pages this thing has. There's 448 pages. Nothing but guns. Anyway, it's a fine book, and it's in good condition. You can see it's in good condition. I mean, it has a little bit of wear around the edges where it slid in and off the shelf, but no torn pages. Didn't see any coffee stains or water stains. It's a fine book. It's in good condition. Good, certainly good condition for a book that old. You can see all the flaws. Right there might be a little bit of flaw on the pages. See that right there? There's a little bit of a dog ear right there on that lower corner. Anyway, it's a good shape book, especially for that age.